Journal Entry 335 We passed over New Chicago today. I snapped some photos from the air as we passed overhead. Looks like the Cobalt's got two more buildings up and their farm is looking more respectable shape. Good for them. Hopefully they'll pack enough food for the coming winter. Maybe in a decade or two, Alien will have Cobalt adventurers checking into the university. Anyways, we're landing in Alien just uh, before nightfall. Marcus ran off to see his wife while the rest of us checked into the inn. While unpacking the airship, I found Avery's laptop. I decided to go through it. We knew what technical information she already had, and we had been through her music. I found detailed documentation on her condition as a cleric. What it was like to be touched by the divine, to call forth a spell, the auras, and all of that. Almost as if she was trying to logically delineate the divine. I'm sure the university would love to see some of this. Then there were the detailed documentations of the Sun Church's organization, what history she managed to pick up, tenets and prayers. I still don't know what happened to her or where she went, but I know she's watching over us from wherever that place is. Journal Entry 336 I paid a visit to the Sun Church today. They deserve to know what happened. I told them all, everything. I even showed a few of them what they wanted to see. When I left, they were all in prayer. Some of them believing that she ascended to her own divine throne. Others think that she's now at the right hand of the sun god, while a few think she simply died. Maybe they'll get their answers from their god. Anyways, I dropped off some things at the university when Rihanna showed up. She invented an interest rate based on how long Marcus is away from home combined with how dangerous the adventure is. What does she even need all this money for anyways? She's already living better than the average person in a city, which is already more advanced than most cities out there. They have bikes and sewers for fuck's sake. So my options were clear. Erase my existence from her mind punch her, or we go somewhere nice and have a long talk. The first two options would have been most satisfying. Oh, so satisfying. Instead, we went and had a nice talk at the cafe with some coffee. There was some snarling involved. The dragon perspective is an odd one. They love their wealth, and wealth isn't always money or jewels. Once she had figured out what we were, she decided that us Terrans were part of her treasure hoard, and that lately we weren't working hard enough to make her money pile even bigger. Her naive expectations were that we'd be throwing fistful of money at her, joyful at having a dragon in our midst because she's a dragon, while she protects us from the world with her dragonness. She didn't take my rebuke very well. I'm probably going to get a visit from Marcus in an hour or so about it. <sighs> Fucking dragons. <laughs>